Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda. Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see through Scripture Day and Prayer Line on its eighth day in February 2024. We starting a new series, y'all. We starting a new series. I'm going to be teaching again every so often, year, a couple of years or whatever it might be. But every couple of years, I like to touch on the book of Romans because it's so important. Hallelujah. So we back at it like a fanatic. We starting in Romans, the first chapter. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, the, the, the book of Romans is so, got so much food in it. So fast in your seatbelt, it's going to get real good, I imagine. We'll see how much more of the Ruah, the Most High, has shared with me and will share with me in the book of Romans. Because it seems like every time I teach it, I know more. Hallelujah. We're supposed to continue to, you know, to, to, to grow in Him. Thank the Most High for, uh, Elder Yosef, Elder Yosef, I'm um, holding down. Hallelujah, who are the conference line? We got Eddie up in here. Good to see you in here, family member. Uh, we got my mom in here. Bless you, mother. We got my mother-in-law in here as well. Bless you. Love you as well, mother-in-law. Uh, 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 Randall in the bill. We used to call him Scandal. You know what I mean? But now he's Randall. We used to call him Scandal Randall, actually. But he's Brother Randall, son of Yah Randall. Now, thank the Most High for me. Al Mal, my pal, man, the Most High continue to bless you, to Baruch you, you know, in your in your health and your body. My big sister's up in here. Love you, sis. Um, may the Most High continue to bless your husband and his health uh, as 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 well. well Matty Yahoo Dogs, good to see you. Miss you, bro. I love you, man. You're my little brother. You already know what it is. Uh, we got Nicole Robinson in the house. Hallelujah. Who are always good to see you, young lady, as well. What a pleasure fellowshipping with you. Demeanor, where you at? <clears throat> we got uh, Demeanor in the building. Hallelujah. Who are, let me see. I should have did this a minute ago, but we'll get it. Uh, Romans 1. Now, cut straight through the chase. I could, I can read um, all the greetings and stuff. I want to get straight to the meat. Oh, uh, Latricia uh, uh, Johnson, uh, Teresa, good to see you in here. I want to get us uh, straight to the to the meat of the thing, y'all. So let's start um, <clears throat> the thirteenth verse. <laughs> Romans 1 and 13, <clears throat> we'll work from there. But look what this say. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I propose to come on to you, but was let, uh, uh, let hitherto. Would it help y'all if I probably did it in NIV? Oh, <sighs> uh, no. Maybe I'll go back and forth as necessary. That's just for clarification to make it easier for y'all to understand. So I'll, I'll do more of an NIV <clears throat> or the NIV. But look what it says. I do not want you to become, I, I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that I plan many times to come to you, but have been prevented from, from, from doing so uh, until now in order that I might have a harvest among you, just as I have had among other Gentiles. Did y'all hear that? He's talking like, like, like the Basora, the gospel banks, Don Deems, he talking like uh, uh, the gospel, uh, uh, Gene, is for the, for the Gentiles as well. 
I love the great awakening. I love we waking up Leslie Sutton. <clears throat> I love the Hebrews finally got their true history coming out of the woodworks. Because we've been lied to. When, when we was in school, they lied to us. <clears throat> Not only did they lie to us, Leslie Sutton, but they they uh they started they started our history uh uh as slaves. Yeah. Yeah, slaves from Africa. That's the beginning of our history. Because they was hiding the truth from us. They jacked us for our identity. They jacked us for our identity and they didn't want us to know who we are. But 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 the most high already prophesied that we will wake up in the last times. In the last days there would be a great awakening. And we will wake up. We was taught that in Christianity, in the church. But we thought it was going to be the synagogue of Satan, them over there destroying the world, control all the money and destroying the world, responsible for all the wars and all this sexual sickness and all this stuff that's going on. We thought they was going to wake up. <clears throat> come to find out, come to find out we, we the ones that needed to wake up and we fit all the prophecies in the book. Yeah, his children was going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. They was going to be shipped into slavery. They was going to get jacked for their identity. And there was going to be some imposters pretending to be them, according to Re Revelation 2 and 9. And because the, the Bible says, I know them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But in Revelation 3 and 9, he, he, he disclosed that he was going to wake us up and he was going to make those that are the synagogue of Satan bow down to our feet when it's all said and done. And, 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 and show the world that he had loved us. We just needed to be punished. We're we, we, we not, we not out of the neck of the woods right now. But what, what we are, we're coming out and we're waking up. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. He said, then I hear from heaven, I forget their sins and I hear their land. In the waking up of, of the children, it's a beautiful thing. But the first prophecy that he entered into with Abraham in Genesis the 12th chapter, he was going to make him a blessing to all the nations of the earth, all the families of the earth, all of them. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So we, 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 we can't we can't we can't think it's strange. Me starting off in Romans 1 and 13. We don't we don't want to think it's strange, son. Neil. See seeing in, in Romans 1 and 13, I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that I plan many times to come to you but have been prevented from doing so until now in order that I might have a harvest amongst you just as I had among other Gentiles. You running around here uh, uh, preaching, preaching the Gentiles at this point. One of the reasons is because true Israel rejected him, rejected the Basura, the, the gospel that he was preaching. Uh-huh. So, 14 verse 8, I am obligated both to the Greeks uh -huh, and non-Greeks, bo both to the wise and the foolish, right? Yeah, I I'm obligated both to the Greeks and the non-Greeks, both to the wise and the foolish. Haviv, Trenda, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the word to everybody and anybody in between. And the 16th verse says, <clears throat> for I'm not ashamed of the Basora, what they call the gospel. I'm not, I'm not ashamed uh, 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 of the plan of salvation. I'm not ashamed. I, you, we can see clearly what's going on on earth. Clearly. Yeah. Stevie Wonder can see that. For I'm not ashamed of the Basora, of the gospel, y'all, because it is the power of Yah, right, that brings salvation 
to just to Israel, just, just only Israel? No, I don't say that. Only Judah? No, I don't say that. Salvation came to Judah. The ten tribes have been uh, uh, scattered and divorced. So what? They can't get it. They 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 can't be saved either. No 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 no. I am not ashamed of the of the gospel because it is the power of Yah to bring salvation to everyone who believes. To every everyone everyone. Salvation is in the Messiah, and that's to everyone that believes. Everybody. That believe. You unbeliever, you got a problem. Before before the Most High made it plain to Abraham in the 15th a chapter of Genesis, before he made it plain uh, to Abraham concerning the 15th chapter about his seed, his physical seed, he made it plain to him in the 12th chapter concerning the spiritual seed, the spiritual people, that he would be a blessing to everybody, to all the families of the earth. He made it plain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Genesis uh, 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 um, uh, 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 12, 1 through 3. He made it. I said before he disclosed him about his physical seed, he made it plain that this is a spiritual thing. He invited all believers through Abraham in Genesis 12, 1 through 3. I mean, we can make it plain. Let's just go look at it. Let's just do that then. We ain't got to trip about it. We can be about it. Let's just read it. How about that? Genesis 12, 1. Now Yahuwah said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house or to a land that I will show thee. Right? He got kinfolk right here. But he said, Get away from them. And I will make of thee a great nation. Right? And I will bless thee and, and, and make, thy, make thy name great and, and thou shalt be uh, 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 a blessing, and I will and I will bless them uh, that bless thee, and I will curse him that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I am going to broaden my horizons on that. Oh, absolutely, Reed. I know that. Yeah, the ten tribes became Gentiles. You can learn more about that in Hosea and all that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm versed. But I do want to say this. I'm gonna reapproach uh, the second verse, and it says, "I will make of thee a great nation." I will say right there. Can y'all see this? I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm gonna correct myself right now. Do y'all see in the second verse, it say, I will make of thee a great nation. I would say he was alluding to uh, the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel right there. So he alluded to them first. I see that. But I still will say that in the first, when he first entered into the covenant agreement with Abraham, listen to me, when he first entered into the covenant agreement with, with Abraham, he made it plain third verse. I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth uh, be blessed. And that was inclusive to everybody. Can y'all see that? We're up in here, Bev, is you with me? <clears throat> Barbara, is you with me? Make a mental note of that. Y'all study that. Meditate in that. I see that in the second verse. I will make of thee a great nation. Right? And I will bless thee and make, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. Y'all see that?
oh, Reed, I can't go back and forth like right now, but I didn't say no nation blessed us. Listen to what I'm saying. I can't go back and forth right now, but you definitely can call me and we can talk about it for sure. In fact, as soon as I finish teaching this, I'm going to give you a phone number and everybody that's on here can call in. And if you got something to say, you can call in and say it to me. Is that cool? But I didn't say that. Listen to what I'm saying. If you type in what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to go back to teach it. Now, now Yahuwah said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. Look at what he said. He said, I'm going to make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. Listen. He said, I'm going to make of you a great nation. Right? And I will bless thee. And I will make thy, thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Third verse. And I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. That's the opening up right there. For the whole, when he, when he first entered into a covenant agreement with, with Abraham, he definitely let him know, I'm going to make you a great nation. And then he broadened horizons from there and said, in fact, all the families of the earth is going to be blessed because of you. Is y'all with me? Back to uh, Romans, the first chapter. Uh, uh, 16 verse. Look what he said. For I'm not ashamed of the besor, of the gospel, y'all, because this is the power of Yah. That, that means a lot to me. You know how powerful Yah is? And the besor, what they call the gospel, is the power of Yah. That's what it is. It's the power, the basor, the gospel, that's what they call it. It, 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 is the power of Yah that brings salvation. This is it right here. You want salvation? This is it right here. And it's backed by the power of Yah. And no weapon formed on earth can stop it. No goon, no ghoul, no goblin, no devil, no hex, no voodoo, no AI, nothing. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of Yah that brings salvation to everyone who believes, to the Yahudim. Then to the Gentile, to the Yahudim, I see that clearer in Genesis, the, the, the second verse that says he'll make of thee a great nation, to the Yahudim, that's the Yahudim, and then in the third verse, and all the families of the earth, now the Gentile can get in. Because that's literally the order it happened in anyway. Listen. 60 for, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel because of the power of Yah to bring salvation to everyone who believe. First to the Yahudim, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, for in the gospel, the righteousness of Yah is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith. From first to last, just as is written, the righteous shall live by faith, right? KJV say the just shall live by faith. Are y'all with me? So this is setting up the platform for salvation. I got to make this plain to y'all. Salvation is believing in the completion of the very first prophecy uh, that the Most High made when Adam sinned in the beginning. When he said the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent and the serpent head would bruise his heel. That is consistent throughout the whole book. That is consistent through the whole book. During the awakening, a lot of our people 
canceled that out. And they just stuck on the relationship that the Most High forged with physical Israel. With commandments on stone. But when he originated the relationship with Israel via Abraham, he did not uh, facilitate the relationship with Abraham with commandments on stone. He facilitated the relationship through faith. Did y'all catch that? When he first facilitated the relationship with Abraham, which is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, when he facilitated the relationship, he did not do it according to him putting commandments on stone. He dealt with him via spiritual. He spiritually dealt with him and, 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 and Abraham reciprocated by trusting and believing him. And it wasn't based on commandments on stone. Stay with me. That was the establishment of the criteria of having a true eternal relationship with the Most High. It's way deeper than him talking to you via stone. Yeah. It's way deeper than him talking to you with him speaking and putting it on stone. The true relationship is him speaking to you and it's on the tables of your heart and you respond in faith. When he had a relationship with the first Adam, it wasn't via stone. It was via relationship. And he spoke to Adam and then Adam received it in his heart. They had a true relationship until there was iniquity found in Adam, and he turned on the Most High because he was so in love with his wife and lacked faith in Yah that Yah could save his wife after she sinned. He sinned with her instead. Stay with me, JB. Are y'all with me? So when we look at the 17th verse, look. For then is the righteousness of Yah revealed from faith to faith, as is written, the just shall live by faith. Or the uh, NIV, for in the gospel, for in the gospel, the righteousness of Yah is revealed. A righteousness that is, uh, is by faith from first to last. It started in faith and it's going to end in faith. Are y'all with me? 18th verse, look what it says. It says, the wrath of Yah is being revealed from heaven against all unyaliness and wickedness of people who suppress truth by their wickedness. Okay. We're, we're dealing with the problem now. We, the, it, it first established the criteria of true faith. Then in the 18th verse, right? Now he's revealing the problem. There's a problem. There's a big problem on earth. Right? I'm going to slide to KJV uh, moving forward unless I need to not. But um, 18 verse. For the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven against all unyaliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Okay, so now the wrath of Yah is being revealed from heaven. You know what's wrong with the earth right now? And it's not running right? And things are not going right? Because the wrath of Yah is being revealed from heaven. And man is trying to go through our life minus Yah. They're literally uh, worse than ignoring him. Everything he stands for, they're going against. Now, you got this Luciferian group of people, right? You got this Luciferian people. I can tell you the bloodline, but it's not necessary right now. But you got these Luciferian people that's running the world, right? Or maybe I will tell you. We'll see. But you got these Luciferian people that's running the world. 
controlling the banks and the money. And they're at the top of the pyramid you see on the back of your dollar. Right up under the all-seeing eye of Lucifer, because that's their daddy and who they work for. Who hate Yah and his children. Right? And they're up under Luciferian influence 100%. 100%. So the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven uh -huh, against all unyahliness and unrighteousness of men because these people are pied pipers. They're in control and they control uh, the, the, the media. They control the web that folks is caught in. That's why they say internet. They want you to enter the net. They want you to enter the web. And they want to influence you. And they're influencing people to be over, overly sexual and sexually sick. And to chase money. And to chase money. To chase a carrot on a stick on a string that they'll never they'll, they'll never they'll never catch it they'll never achieve it uh-huh it, it it just causes you to be a slave to them work for them not only not only will it cause you to be a slave but it will cause the majority of people to sell their soul for a carrot that they'll never grab. It's an illusion. And people are selling their soul. They're ignoring Yah, his word, his righteousness, his rule. His sovereignty and his rule is being ignored by people. And the demographic people that's running this place know Yah. They know who he is. You think they atheists. They're not atheists. They know who he is. They're just 100% against him. They serve Lucifer. And Lucifer is 100% against him. Against the Most High. And so are they. They even know who his children are. They trick the world in not to believe in who the world, who, who his true children is, bloodline children is. Or else the world wouldn't be so quick to go against them. But Lucifer is a deceiver. He, he, he's deceiving folk. But his children know what it is. So if you look at this world, the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven. The wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven. Yeah, it is. The wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven. Mm -hmm. Against all unyahliness. All of it. Not some, y'all. All of it. How you live it. Better look at yourself, because it's wrath of Yah. Don't think because you get a bag, his wrath ain't on you. Don't get it twisted. You ain't got more money than these devils just running the world, and his wrath is definitely on them. Stay with me, Yah, son. Yeah, his wrath is revealed from heaven against all unyahliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. So you got a demographic that's running the world, they know exactly who he is. They just hate him. And they're influencing people that's under them, under their influence. Mm -hmm. And you got folks that uh, the Most High revealed himself to them, even through the Basora, the Gospel. Read, the Most High revealed himself to folk so they can receive salvation. But you got some folks that's too busy trying to live their lives. Yeah, they're trying to live their lives. Terms like, I'm trying to live my best life. They're trying to live their lives. Bev, they're they, they, they try, they try, they trying to live their lives. They're not finna bow down to Yah like that. They hold the truth. They know Yah is real. 
He came to save them, and they know it. But they switched. They started off willing to obey him at first until they got lonely, until they got horny, until they got tired of not having enough material stuff. They wanted a, they want to go up the pyramid, higher up the pyramid. You know, people's down at the bottom. <laughs> slave, slave. The whole thing is slaves. But the whole thing is slave. All the way up to the all-seeing eye, the so-called all-seeing eye of Lucifer. Everything under that eye is a slave. That eye is a supreme devil. But they wanted to go up the ladder. You got folks that's selling their soul, promoting, marketing, being involved in, working for and with this wicked system to get paid. Listen, so the 18th verse says, For the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven against all unyaliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Uh-huh. That's what they do. They hold the truth. They know the truth, but they're not living it. They're not doing it. Folks got calls on their life. And they really would do the call. Really, they really would. They know they anointed. They know y'all revealed some stuff to them. They really would walk in their calling if they wasn't so busy seeking to save their own life. Seeking the ball. Yeah, yeah. Some people going to ball till they fall. When the Most High is calling us out of the darkness into the marvelous light. We got to get the revelation of, of, of Matthew 6 and 33 when it says, First seek ye the kingdom of Yah. We got, we got to get that. First seek ye the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness. Not only do you believe in the Messiah, the word made flesh, Yah coming to rescue you. Not, not only do you believe that, listen. But his righteousness, his lifestyle. You're marking and promote his lifestyle. You represent his lifestyle. Somebody come to your house, they go, they, they gonna get his lifestyle. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. You're right, High Tower. High Tower said, no more unequally yoke. It's time to serve him completely. Period. No more time to play and stray. 100 percent for the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, right? And unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unright who who, 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 who who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You you know the truth, but you ain't doing it. Put up a chair. We in here, Harold. You're not doing it. Fol folks is doing themselves. Stay with me. It's going to get a little more turbulent before it get better. We're going to land in a minute. The 19th verse says, Because that which may be known of Yah is manifested in them. Did you hear that? Yah revealed it to them. You got some folks that Yah revealed. You got some folks that's anointed, but you can't even see it. You don't even know it because they ain't going to show it. You might see a glimpse of it, but they're supposed to be preaching. They're supposed to be teaching. They're supposed to be evangelizing. Yeah. So, 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 some 30 fold, some 40 fold, some 60 fold. They're supposed to be collecting. They, so, they, they folks supposed to be getting saved because of them. Because of the revelations that Yah gave them. But they're not. They they doing something else. They holding the truth and unrighteousness. You'd be surprised the anointing and the cause is even in here now. 
But folks is caught up into their own personal physical life. Please get the revelation that this first physical life has been forfeited because of the first Adam. And you're solidified in the second Adam. Which is a quickening spirit. Please understand that your first life has been forfeited. That's why you were baptized into the Messiah's death. Because he died. Because his life, he forfeited it. He never sinned. He willingly forfeited his life. And he displayed it, like I keep telling y'all, in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he said, uh, not my will, but thou will be done. Because his will was, I don't want to do this. His will was a righteous will too. And his will was right because he never sinned. There was no reason for him to die. He died. He forfeited his life to die. He said, I didn't take my life. I laid it down. And he said, and I'm going to take it up again. They couldn't take his life. He never sinned. He laid it down. Because our first life is forfeited. Because of the first um, Adam. Demina, read. I like the emojis y'all shooting at me. Stay with me. He laid it down. Listen. The 19th verse says, Because that which may be known of Yah is manifested in them. For Yah has revealed it unto them. Yah revealed it unto them. Yeah, he revealed it on them. He showed them. He revealed himself to them. But they wanted to make some money. Instead. Having a form of y'all in this. You know how people have a form of having a relationship with him? Kind of, sort of. Verbally, they got it down. But they're not living for him like they should. They're not you. you they're not you utilizing the gift that he gave them for kingdom building. They finances, they resources, they sphere, all the people they can touch. They're not touching them with the things of y'all. They touching them with the things of the world, so they can make money. For fame and a name. You got some folks, you don't even know how anointed they is. And they ain't touching nobody. They got a small little circle they run in. And they ain't getting edified. Not to the point that the Most High has blessed them. The people around them don't have a clue. Because of the things they do. Or the things they don't do. The things they won't do. Because they too busy being Jonas running from Yah. Jonah running around here. Trying to open the coffee shop. Jonah. He, he, work, at the, he work at the pier. <laughs> Jonah got spit up by the fish. And instead of running in Nineveh, he got a job at the pier. People see him, don't know him. Every now and then he might say a little something about Yah, but he ain't doing what he's supposed to do. 19 verse. Because that which may be known of Yah is manifested in them. For Yah has showed it to them. Yah personally, they got to answer to him. I show, I anointed you. I called you. I equip you. I saved you. To do what you're doing? You believe I saved you to do what you're doing? You believe that? You don't want to get in too deep. Because when you get in too deep, you couldn't even imagine coming out. You couldn't even imagine quitting. Come on, talk back to me. Folks be fornicating so, so long that they end up common law married. You're in so deep, you couldn't imagine repenting. In too deep. Battle, they in too deep, man.
better check yourself. I don't care how deep it is. It ain't too late as long as you're still living. I love it. I like that emoji. Look, 21. No, 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 20. For the visible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. He, show, he showed them. Some people might look at his creation and they just, 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 you know, spiritually goofy. They don't get a clue. They can't figure out man didn't create that. The sun, the sun in the sky, the sun in the air, who put it there? They, they can't fathom y'all did that. They think it was a big firecracker, a big bang. They, they game goofy for, for show. 21st. But the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Being understood, that seeing all thy getting, get an understanding. They understand. Mm -hmm. For the visible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. They understand, they looking at the stuff, how marvelous it is of what he created. Let's go deeper than what he created. And the and and his eternal power in your head. They understand. It is one Elohim who who loved us enough to be manifested in the body. They understand that. Died on the tree for you and me. They understand. They understand he is spirit. And they number one spirit. They understand that. Ephesians 4 and 4. They number one spirit. <laughs> they understand this. They understand Yah. They understand this. His Yah head. They understand the proof of the things he created. They understand that. They understand the call on their life. They understand. But they're getting high. But they're getting drunk. But they fornicating. But they chasing the bag. They understand. Don't get it twisted. They understand. In fact, they'll back up off you if you step on their toes. Because they understand. They doing what they doing. They pursuing what they pursuing. When you get to teaching like this, you think the ministry going to grow? <laughs> huh? Why is the road to lead to destruction? Why is the road to lead to destruction? Many there be to go in there. At. Straight and narrow is the path to lead to life. Few there be defined because folks ain't willing. Nah, -uh, I can't. Mm -mm. No, nah, mm mm. All this stuff stop when Agenda 2030 hit. All of it stopped. This giant prison now. Folks was fighting not to go to prison. All oh, you got to be a, is is on earth now. Whole thing of prison. 15 minute cities, a five minute neighborhood. Surveillance. You know how many cameras is on a, a Tesla? You, you rolling around in a giant snitch. Everything you say, everywhere you go, it got so many cameras on a dog on Tesla. Folks, ooh, this is luxurious. You ain't nothing but a cop. You a snitch. Don't even know it. And you snitching on yourself. All around the car, outside the dog, now everything in the car is... is all in it. You talking about them doorbells. Them doorbells they got, that's how they catch everybody. They go to the neighborhood, the ones with the doorbell stuff. Doorbell tracks you everywhere. Oh, they got them on the poles too, on the lights and stuff. And then when you when you come in the neighborhood, everybody they got one of them doorbell thing. You know, they check all the, everyone that got the doorbell thing, they know it. Because <clears throat> they watch the neighborhood through your doorbell. Please don't have a Tesla parked in the driveway. <laughs> you electronic snitch. Don't even know it. Oh, I got a Tesla. 
You thought your privacy was gone before you got that Tesla. Whew. So they're without excuse. 21st verse. Because, because that when they knew Yah. Mm -hmm. Pers personal relationship with him. He revealed himself to them. Talk to some of us. That's how deep the anointing is. He'll talk to you. Not everybody. You bless if he talk to you. Because that when they knew Yah, they glorified him not as Yah. You know what that means? They didn't respect him on the level that they should have. They underestimated what was going on. Because moving forward, everything they did should have been for him. Yeah. They're not running around here fornicating, committing adultery, getting high and drunk, running with the world. People around you don't even know who you are. Jonah got on a boat. They didn't know who got on a little boat. They know hell hit that boat. They know that. They're like, what have we done? What is all this coming? Because you rolling with Jonah. With a call on, on their life so big that everything they're supposed to be doing is supposed to represent y'all. Every conversation they have, everything they do, everything they create, everything they say, because they know y'all. Because he talked to them. Because he anointed them. Because he saved them. Because he called them out of the darkness into the marvelous light. They went back in the darkness to try to make some money. They went back in the darkness to try to have some sex. They love life is in the dark. How they get their bag is in the dark. Put a one in here if y'all with me. It's tight, but it's right. Put a one in here if y'all with me. We making disciples. We ain't making friends. Put a one in here if y'all with me. We got a job to do. Because, 21st verse, because that when they knew y'all. Hey, some an anointing in this particular ministry, we should have evangelized whole Oakland and flipped the joker. By now, the whole Bay Area. But when you got folks that's super anointed and they doing them, a dog on Uber driver. <laughs> oh, boy. Help us, y'all. Because that when they knew y'all, they glorified him not as Yah. They, they didn't respect the fact that the world is headed to hell in a, ha in a, in a hand bass, That the world is condemned. A a a and the Most High introduced himself to them. The world is condemned and the Most High revealed himself to them. That they might be a vessel of honor and not dishonor. And that he might use them. So he blessed certain individuals with resources for kingdom building, but they didn't. They didn't build the kingdom. They built some foolishness. They built. They built some worldly stuff. They built some satanic. They built some stuff that that that, that Yah would destroy with the resources and the stuff he gave them, with the anointing and the call he gave them, with the love that he gave them to have for him. They're supposed to use Eliza for. King. I'm trying to tell y'all, twenty first verse. I got to go. I'm running out of time. I'm almost, I'm basically out of time. Because that when they knew Yah, yeah, they knew it, but they didn't, they didn't respect him like they were supposed to. They didn't glorify him like they were supposed to. They didn't magnify him like they were supposed to. Maybe they did verbally, but not like they were supposed to. They didn't glorify him as Yah. Neither were thankful. They didn't appreciate what he did for them. He saved them. 
He rescued it. They didn't appreciate it. Not like they were supposed to. Some people let them tell it they did appreciate it. No, you didn't. The, the average person did not. Or else you'd be living for him. And if, if the things you do would magnify him, not the devil, not this worldly system, not these wicked people, not these getting drunk, high, fornicating, industry, uh, couch, <laughs> sexually sick, Luciferian. Hey, these devils hijacked Judah, y'all, because we talented. We build stuff. We built this place. While they labeling us as ignorant, low-life niggas, we built this place up under the influence and anointing of Yah. These inventions that they was coming out with and all that, Judah did that. The slave masters got the credit. They got patent office and trademark offices because everything you create and do, they stealing it. They taking it. We built this. They, they, they took Judah and sang. These people pretending to be us. They had the money to get the wax. They had mobile. Uh, uh, they had mobile um, uh, uh, recording machines, and then they finally got the money. They start building the the boards. Went from regular microphones and recorder to to four tracks to eight tracks. The 16 tracks, the 32 tracks, the 64 tracks, the 88 track. Now it's digital unlimited. But, but, but they, they took Judah and made all this money. But they aimed them towards Satan, though. All the gifts we got, we magnifying the devil. So when the Most High call you out of that, you ain't messing with that. I'm teaching y'all because that when they knew 21, I got to go y'all, you know, it's going to be a, a part two or th potentially three uh, to Romans, the first chapter, but look what they say. I plan to teach the whole book. We're going to be here for a minute. Listen, because that when they knew y'all tell a friend. Because when they knew Yah, they didn't, they didn't magnify him. They didn't glorify him as Yah. They didn't bow down and say, uh, what would you have me to do? They already had what they wanted to do. And they doing it. It ain't what he told them to do. Because when they knew Yah, they didn't magnify him as Yah. Neither were they thankful. They didn't appreciate what he did for them. But became vain in their imagination. So their imagination starts spitting out vanity. So moving forward, they're fornicating and committing adultery. Vanity. They're getting high and drunk. Vanity. They're creating things that go against Yah. His, his sons and daughters, with all the gifts they got, they can rap, sing, dance. They got anointing. They can lay hands on folks and heal them. They know the scriptures. They pray good. They got all that, but they're creating wicked stuff. They further harm his children and harm themselves and build the kingdom of Lucifer. Grammys ain't nothing but a big Luciferian fest with all the symbols. They videos... They music, how they gyrating, they sexual, Luciferian orgy. And we join that stuff. Hollering, thank you, Jesus, at the same time. See Starling, Destiny Ison. Listen, because that when they knew Yah, they didn't magnify him as Yah. Neither were they thankful. But became vain in their imagine, their imagination. They imagined in the wrong thing. They should be imagining all of us getting saved and waking up to who we are and whose we are. They should be imagining every last one of us with a, with, 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 coming out of this stuff, coming out of this system, coming out of this kingdom, coming out this dark. That's what they should be imagining. And if they was imagining that, y'all would have used them to do that. But 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 be, be, but became vain in their imaginations. That's why they're not doing it, and their foolish hearts was darkened. 
professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. I'm going to have to pick it up, y'all. They became fools. Is y'all listening? Put a two in here if you're listening. Put a two in here if you're listening. If you got if you got if you got hit, put a ten in here. If the if the word hits you, put a ten in here. If you with me, put a two in here. Can, can you hear me? If, if you got hit, put a ten in here. Yeah, if the word hits you, uh huh. Word come to save you. But I had to say ouch every now and then. Listen. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Cause, 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 when the anointing is on his children, right? You would become, you would believe you're wise. You, you, look at it. You have a reason to believe you're wise because your wisdom come from Yah. Yah gives you creativity and ability that supersedes the norm. But, but when your imagination become vain, you're imagining the wrong thing. You're on the wrong team. You're imagining the wrong thing. Imagine him using you. Because if he use you, women going to cover up. They're going to cover their body. Not take it off. Based on what you create. Folks ain't showing their cleavers and the crack of their behind. Not with nothing you do it. In the motel room, girl, come here. Turn over, turn. Ooh, y'all ain't got you in there doing that. Pistols. Everybody down. You running that. Y'all ain't got you doing that. Y'all didn't deliver you for that. Y'all ain't saved your life for that. Every last one of us in here, oh, y'all. A lot of us supposed to be in jail right now. A lot of them are supposed to be dead and in hell right now. A lot, a lot of us, a lot of us came to the end, and, and, and y'all had mercy and said, "No, it's my child." He saved us. We back on the liquor, a straight stone drunk. Boy, we cold on the mattress. Boy, have a joke of hollering. So many orgasm. Don't know if they coming or going. Euphoria. Players. Pimps. And this joker. He didn't say you for that. So they became fools. Professing themselves to be wise. Misunderstood the anointing and the call and the ability to get. Repent and do it right now. Because you're running out of time. Oh, it's going to come to an end anyway. Hey, they turn this place into a communism. They taking government. Ain't nobody gonna own nothing. Agenda 2030. Less than six years from now. Nobody owns nothing. They gonna take all the guns. Watch. They gonna, they gonna come up with something to get the guns. Because then you're gonna be completely vulnerable. They gonna come get the guns. So you can't protect yourself. Study history. Every time they take the guns, it's over. People kept guns, according to the Constitution, people kept guns to make sure the government, because that's a lot of power, make sure the government didn't, don't go rogue and take over. Well, the government went rogue and took over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they did. These fake Jews took the money. They, they controlled the banks and bought the government. That's how they took over. See, see, the people are supposed to have guns to stop the government. These jokers took over the money to control the government. See, they took over the government. Now you got to stop the government and them. <laughs> but they got game for you. They come for the guns. Y'all allowing it because you ain't doing what he called you to do. You ready to repent? Put a three in here. Did you know Yah's watching the number system in here? You ready to repent? Put a three in here. You ready to repent? Put a three in here. You know Yah's watching the money, the the number system in here. 
folks putting threes and fours and stuff like it's a numbers game. Y'all don't don't you can lie putting a number. You ready to repent? Put a three in there. Oh, we talking today. He is anyway. Mm -hmm. I got to go, y'all. I'm way over time. I'm going to get in trouble. Let me hurry up, y'all. You need some help? Put a phone in here. You need some help? Put a phone in there. I'm willing, but I need some help. I believe, but help thou my unbelief. Put a phone in here. Help me. I need some help. Can I put a phone in here? Mine is right here. I need I need some help. I need y'all. Mm -hmm. We all depending on me. I'm no I'm not only the messenger, I'm a client. I got a phone in here. Add one to it. Put five on it. Let's pray. Anybody in here going to accept him for the first time? Add your five. Add your five. Grab him right now. Yeah. He came down. 75 generations. Stopped at the 42nd generation to grab the faith of Abraham from the faith on to the birth. Lived a perfect example. Died on the tree for you and me. Rose again with all power. And now he want to baptize himself inside. He's leading guide you in all truth. He want to save you. Put five in here. And let's pray. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humbly, know how when you're present because we love you. We need you desperately. Save your children. Forgive us. We didn't went the wrong way. We're manifesting and bringing to pass wicked things that you did not ordain. But right now, we thank you for opening our eyes twice the size and we realize we were wrong. And we repent right now. We repent right now. We repent. We turn around and, and turn towards you. Look on the Yahushua, who's the author and finisher of our faith. Save us right now. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor. Not only now, but forever. Use us in these last and evil days. We're we even willing to undo what we did for you. In Yahushua's name, we humbly pray. Hallelujah and Amad. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the Most High said. Romans, the first chapter. Obviously, it's part one because we'll be back at it. Uh, Y'all permit, uh, what's the day, Thursday? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is noonday prayer and uh, uh, 8 p.m. prayer. 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Y'all dial that number right now. Pray for everybody. Right on, Reed. I like that. That's good. Pray for everybody. Y'all be brute and Brock Shalom. I'm gone.